What's up, Missouri Nation? It's Coach Ray. Today, do you know what this part is? If you don't, you're going to find out in a second. So, the last few days I've had my plane in annual here at Chuck's Aircraft at Austin Executive Airport. And any of you who are aircraft owners, if you haven't done an owner-assisted annual, it is the best thing you could do as a pilot. Like I have learned so much from the mechanics. I thought I knew my plane, but I did not. There's just so much I learned. So I highly recommend that if you're an aircraft owner. So today, we're since I've got the cowling off and everything, uh, I thought it'd be cool to do a video and see uh, kind of what you guys know about engines and the parts because I think it's very important to know the engine intimately. So we're gonna start off with, what do you guys think this is right here? So I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. Hopefully you know. So this is Alt 2. This is my alternator two. Now, follow up to that question. If this is Alt 2, what do you think this big bad boy is here? So that's Alt 1. So this is my main alternator. And the thing I love about the series, especially the SR20 with this design, is all of these components aren't connected with one belt. There's three separate belts. So if one breaks, I've still got function on this other side, which is cool. So I'm gonna stay here. The next component we're gonna look at, does anybody know what this component is? My camera guy can get a little closer if he needs to. But this component right here, and you can see it's kind of right underneath this guy, which is the flywheel. This is where the propeller hub sits. So if you don't know, I'm sure you do, but this is the starter. So when I push that fancy push button starter inside, or if you've got a key start, the mechanics on the back of that is the same thing. It engages this motor, this little flywheel pops out, connects to the flywheel, and it spins, and that's what uh, causes the ignition right there. So that's those components real quick. And then something I know a lot of you might not have on your aircraft, I have it on mine because I'm a little spoiled, but that's okay because I'm older. Uh, this guy right here, and Matt, you can come around and get it more if you need to. So anybody have a guess on what this component is? It kind of looks like it would be an alternator, but it's not. So a couple more seconds to think about it. So this is actually the air conditioned compressor. So you can see here it goes up around and it'll come back through the cabin as well. But this is the compressor uh, for the air condition. Now something else I will show you guys is right here. So this is the exhaust for the engine, right? So we've got these little kind of probes, they are probes going into, but does anybody know what these probes are? So I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. This is, remember, this is my exhaust. So these probes are what's giving me my EGT, so my exhaust gas temperature. So that's where the probes are. And so it's kind of cool to see, you know, what I'm seeing on the glass panel and those readings and then actually seeing how they're installed and what they're connected to. Now, right next to these, and there's some on the other side of the engine as well, these probes here, they're actually going into the cylinder heads. So in the cockpit, I have CHTs, which is cylinder head temperature. So it would make sense that the probes for the cylinder head temperatures are connected into the cylinders themselves. So that's a, kind of a cool look at some of the components of the engine I think uh, I just think it's really important as a pilot to know your engine if you don't know everything about your engine at first that's okay but I highly recommend that you learn it and an annual is like the perfect time to do that even an oil change as well you can look at all these components during the oil change so that's I mean, there's a lot more I could go into on this plane. Actually, Matt, I'm gonna come on this side and show everybody something real quick. 
So if we look on this side, and this is more of a this is more of a don't do uh, tip. So we've got the oil here, right? Our oil filter here, and then obviously this is where we put the oil. And we've all heard, right? Don't tighten these oil caps too tight. And there's a couple of reasons why. So if you tighten it real tight, when this gets hot, it's going to expand. And it's gonna be a real pain to take this off. You're probably gonna to have to use pliers. You could break this. Uh, so one, you could break it. The other thing is if you tighten it too tight and you try and turn this whole thing, you could actually turn the entire apparatus and it'll come loose down at the bottom where it connects to the engine. And then you could get an oil leak. So those are some tips, some things you wanna avoid. So you don't wanna tighten this too tight. Just hand tight that's all you need to do right and that'll prevent you from cracking this plastic or having an oil leak if you have to move this whole thing so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video right um i i think it's cool to learn about the engine it's cool stuff and as pilots i think it's extremely important to know your engine and just know your aircraft in general so what have you guys learned with your aircraft? Have you dove into your engine? Anybody out there done an owner assisted annual? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you're new to MZ Ray and you're just checking us out, you can go to mzraytrial.com and take two weeks free of all our courses. So thanks for watching the video guys. And remember a good pilot is always learning. We'll see ya.